Hey everyone, welcome back to the station. My name is Sean and this is episode four of Sean Station. And today we're going over a uh, really special engine that has a lot of meaning uh, for me. Uh, it's one of my favorite engines that I got to ride on when I was a conductor with Norfolk Southern and um, I was able to get it custom made. So it's a very exciting uh, engine to look at. Well, we're waiting. It is the Norfolk Southern SD70 ACU. This was a custom made locomotive that uh, one of my friends had made for me. And uh, it was just so nice of him to take the time and efforts to do this. And um, reason that I really wanted this engine was from one of my favorite trips. So hop on board and let's go take a look at this engine. <laughs> So let's go over a brief history of the SD70 ACU. These engines were initially um, built in their original models of SD90 Max, um, or if you're gonna be uh, very specific about it, SD9043 MACs, if you really wanna uh, get into the intricate parts of it. But these engines were rebuilt. Um, Canadian Pacific, Norfolk Southern, and Union Pacific all had a hand in kind of rebuilding these engines but NS found the most help for them. So they acquired 110 of them. And in 2020, they actually sold off um, just under 50 total ACUs to other short lines and smaller class railroads. Um, but most of these, you can find them as um, helpers or pushers, um, leaving Altoona and the Horseshoe Curve area to help long trains up and down that hill. Um, and sometimes they're used as head and power in case, you know, the main lead unit fails. Um, but this engine that I had on the trip, uh, when I was a conductor in Harrisburg, um, we had a 66 E and that was a loaded oil train, um, leaving Harrisburg, going to Morrisville, Pennsylvania. And this engine was leading and we actually had the Redding heritage unit, which is NS 1067, um, behind. And, um, we'll get into some more details of that story here in a little bit. So as I said before, these engines are not common to see um, in any kind of consist. They're definitely used, especially in Altoona. Um, but I have seen it before where it's actually leading an Amtrak train where the leading P42 by GE had uh, either kind of burned out or had some kind of um, electronic failures. And the ACU was the engine that came to the rescue. So you had a, a passenger train being led by a freight diesel, um, which is definitely cool to see and definitely within its power because these engines can get up between 70 and 75 miles per hour. So now the fun story about this engine. Um, I had gotten called to take a 66E from Harrisburg to Morrisville, Pennsylvania in May of 2021. And I was working with one of my favorite engineers and we had gotten word that uh, we had the heritage unit uh, NS 1067 trailing. So of course we were already excited about that. Um, my engineer loves trains, um, has a huge passion for it as much as I do. And um, we were just texting back and forth, you know, saying that, you know, we're excited to, you know, have a good, finally a good heritage unit, if only it was leading. But um, we were talking about, um, you know, sites along the way, we'd be, you know, seeing everything. And he just said out of the blue, you know, I bet I can blow the horn on our engine better than you. And I was like, well, duh, you're the engineer, I'm the conductor. And he, he said, well, there's one way to find out. And that's if you go in the second unit and we have a horn duel. So as we were leaving Harrisburg and a couple other spots along the way, uh, where some rail fans were going to be, we, um, he would have me go back to the second unit and we had a horn duel. Um, and here's a clip from when we were leaving Harrisburg. We didn't just stop there. Uh, we continued this several miles outside of Harrisburg, maybe even halfway to our destination, um, going 40 miles per hour. So 
so yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was definitely one of my favorite trips. And um, now with this engine being custom numbered to the the same cab number and at 7312, and I already have the Reading Heritage unit. Um, this was a train I wanted to recreate on my layout. Um, probably the most uh, creative one that we have here to um, kind of recreate a train that I was on. I have intermodal cars for like a random 20K I used to work on, a freight train for the NS 12R and 13R that I worked on going to Hagerstown. But um, this train, the 6060 with 7312 leading um, with a lot of my Lionel uh, oil tankers, this was a train that I knew was going to be something special to have on the layout. So let's go take a closer look at this custom engine. This is the engine. Again, it was originally um, an MTH Premier NS SD80 Mac, um, and the shell was essentially um, cut off in the front and um, switched with a cab of an uh, SD70 M-2 uh, to kind of give it that same look because these engines, they just have the um, NSACE cab in the front. So I figured that would be the best way to kind of have this be done. And um, again, my friend Jesse, he was the one who did all the custom work. I had no hands in this because it is not my, uh, my set of skills. I just know how to put Lionel fast track together and run some trains, but um, he did a, an amazing job on this engine. Beautiful paint work, um, all the added details of the stickers, the numbers, lights, and everything. So um, thank you again, Jesse, for making this incredible model. So let's take a look at some of the closer details of this engine. As you can tell, it has been renumbered to 7312, and it has the SD70 ACU classification on the cab as well as the danger electrical warnings on the cab and everything. And then the number boards, they match the same cab number. The PTC top to the engine, since that's what their um, electrical um, devices were working on. And of course the wheels, everything looking like a modern ACU that you would normally see out of Altoona. And then at the end of it, you have the, the same back um, now, again, I have had some people tell me on the side, like, hey, it's like the, the back of, a, of an SD80 Mac. Yes, it's really hard to get the back of an actual uh, ACU, but, you know, we're looking at the front of the train. That's where all the fun happens. So, uh, again, Jesse did an amazing job on this engine, and um, now let's go check out how it runs. All right, we've got power to the layout, engines on the track. Let's bring this one to life. Beautiful startup sequence. MTH is always good at that. I've never heard a bad one. Well, let's go take a look at the bell. Beautiful sounding electric bell on most of the modern engines. Um, this is probably one of my favorite bells, uh, just more than the, the air powered ones. And now let's listen to the horn. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you again, Isaac, for uploading this uh, real horn from the same engine onto this. It's just so beautiful. I don't think the video does it justice, but um, this is just such an amazing horn. So uh, now well, let's go look through some more of the uh, sound features of the engine and then we'll uh, take it for a spin.
Crews all on board, NS1067 is trailing, and we are ready to take this loaded oil train to Morrisville. All right, folks, there you have it. That is the NSSD70 ACU, the custom-made engine that uh, my friend Jesse had made for me uh, with custom sounds by Isaac, um, who is on Instagram as at Oscale every day. Um, he has made custom sounds for essentially all of my Oscale uh, modern diesels that are Norfolk Southern. Um, a couple more I've kind of got to send him to kind of uh, get, I don't wanna say fixed, but upgraded in a great way. Um, he loves making custom sounds. Again, go follow him at Oscale every day on Instagram. And if you have questions about my engines, my layout, um, you can also message me there as well. Uh, my Instagram is at Sean's underscore station. Um, more than happy to talk trains about my previous times with NS as a conductor and to share about what I've collected here in the layout over the last couple of years. So um, the next video I'm hoping to do, I know I said in episode three that I'd be going over some modern freight and technically this episode wasn't wrong. We did go over some modern freight, but the, the next episode is going to be going over each and every engine that did have a custom sound put in by Isaac. And, um, I have a lot of more time to share that out because it's a lot of engines. It's about 10 total modern diesels. So, um, I wanted to be able to kind of showcase them individually so that you all could get a good look at them. And I'm really excited for that. So, um, 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for stopping by the station and uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Sean Station, signing off.